In today's video, I'm going to be looking at another 60 mark question that we might want to try. Um, the question I'm asking, which is for paper two, for changing spaces, making places, is national governments are the most important player involved in rebranding. To what extent do you agree? At this point, you might want to stop the video, have a go at answering that question. If you're going to do that, these are the key things that I'd like you to remember. Um, you make sure that you have a very short intro, it's two to three lines. It should only take you 22 minutes, um, 27 minutes if you've got extra time. Um, you should be writing 650 to 750 words if you type, about two and a half pages of exam paper, maybe slightly longer depending on your handwriting. Uh, try to use the PEST writing structure. If you don't know what that is, go and look at the 16 mark or 33 mark videos that I've got on my channel to um, see how you do that. And uh, you should have two to three clear arguments, three if you're aiming for an A star, and there should be a short conclusion uh, to two to three lines. These questions are very, very tight in terms of timing, so you need to learn, know a lot of knowledge about what you're actually going to write um, before um, you actually go into it. So this is the question. Um, the question is going to be at the top. You can see in the right uh, hand corner where we are, if it's at the start, at the end, or it's argument one or two. Uh, in my uh, intro, I'm going to write definition in a maximum two or three lines. So here I've put the definition of rebranding, and then I've said that there are multiple players that are involved in the process, but their level of um, influence differs. I'm not writing too much here. I'm getting straight into the argument and explaining my argument um, actually in the argument. So on my first argument, I'm going to take the words from the title about national governments. I'm going to have a clear but complex point and explanation with evidence. Here I've said that they're one of the most important players, national governments, because they work at a citywide level and they have the influence and capital to make changes. It's a point that's clear, but it's a little bit complex. I then go on to have a very brief one line to say what Glasgow, my example case study, was like before the rebranding. I said there was employment, poverty, and this was because of mass deindustrialization. And then here is where I'm starting to say what national governments do. I talk about the Scottish enterprise. I say how they fund all these creative projects, which I give as examples. I say how they improve the infrastructure and how that encourages more businesses to invest in the area, leading to more regeneration. I then summarise that briefly, but I'm saying that they're really important because they work at a wider scale and provide the funds for most of the projects. So that's my opening argument in terms of the point and the explanation, but I need to do the, um, the ests bit of the pests to make it a complex argument. So here, um, pests again, applying the knowledge, it's either a yeah, but, or it's, this is significant because. Here I'm talking about significance. So I've said they're important in terms of fun, but I also say here that they have to work collaboratively with the local government. Some of the projects are co-funded, and if the local government doesn't implement the funds properly, then you can't actually get rebranding to work um, to best. So if you look at this last line here, I say they're significant because they provide funding, but unless they work closely with local government, it doesn't actually implement the rebrand very well. Moving on to my second argument, I take another player and I do exactly the same again. Local government here, I say that they're key because they implement the main strategy. I've already hinted at that in the last paragraph, but I go into more detail. I talk about the Glasgow Miles Better campaign, how it's an example of cultural rebranding, how the Glasgow City Council did this, and they came up alongside other players with the campaign and slogan, which was that Glasgow was miles better than anywhere else, and that this got national and significant attention. I said that this took the initial lead, that's a key bit here, to alter the image in the eyes of the locals uh, and other people around the UK. Here again, I'm in my second bit, that's only a couple of lines, it's maybe three or four lines, but I'm applying my knowledge here. I'm either gonna go, yes, it is true, or this is significant because, and here I take this on in terms of success and significance. I say it was successful in changing people's perceptions of it, However, that was only slightly significant because it didn't actually change any of the infrastructure uh, in the 80s. It just changes the image and the deprivation levels were still very, very, very high in the 80s. And therefore, I summarise this by saying local government can often ca be the catalyst for change, but it needs funding and investment um, to actually complete the process. 
Hit my third argument, um, again, I take another player, I take supranational institutions, and in this example, I take the EU. I said that they are similar to the national governments and that they can provide uh, investment. I talk about how the concert hall was uh, built by, with funding from the EU, but also that the EU significantly um, made Glasgow the European capital of culture in the 90s. This was really, really key because it meant that it said it was a place of culture, it brought in thousands of visitors and provided actual funds to improve the, the infrastructure of the city. So when I'm going back to look at my applying argument, I've said they're important, a bit like national government because of money, um, but I'm going to look at significance again here. I said, well, it, that only really happened because local government uh, and other players had already built up the, the image that Glasgow was cultural. They'd got rid of this industrial image and then the EU came in with funding. The EU didn't come in with the funding and change the image and then that led to positive changes. It was the local government um, that, that made the change first. The EU just kind of backed it up with cash later on. Uh, and so I'm, I'm saying that it needs a, a bit of a combination of, of forces to make it work, especially in the early 90s. So now I'm coming to the end of my argument. I want to write a conclusion. Often the, the, the worst essays just kind of try to write too much on their points and then tail out of the conclusion. And therefore, the examiner doesn't really know where, where the, um, the person writing it sits. I don't need to new any, add any new information. I'm essentially just summarizing what I've already said here. So what I am trying to say here is that that national governments are important, but they, they often need to work in collaboration. So what I've said, uh, rebranding re takes a collaborative approach to be considered successful. Local governments often create the initial brand and they're able um, to, to implement strategies. However, unless they have significant funds from national government, then they can't make the long-term rebrand work. So I am partially agreeing with this by saying, National governments are important, but I'm also saying that local government has their work with national government to actually get successful rebrand. That should take 22 minutes to write. If you're going for an A star, I'd expect that kind of level of quality in terms of A01 depth and A02 depth. And that, if you put that all into a Word document and look to how many words, it's about 680 words, so it fits the criteria. I hope this helps in terms of how to apply A01 and A02. Uh, and good luck with having a go at it and marking it against my model answer.